fine, whatever. Like, you can do it, not I guess. Nobody would kill anybody in weed, I guess. Um, I'm sure that they have, though. I'm sure somebody has killed somebody on weed. But uh, I didn't, so. <laughs> but I don't like it. You know, I like a cheeseburger. Um, I like a beer. Not too many beers. Sometimes if the kids are being real fools, especially that night, I might, I might put a little bit of a shot in my coffee at night. You know, you guys do that, parents? You know what I'm talking about? But you gotta be careful with that, because you gotta eat a full meal before you do that. Because if you do it on an empty stomach and then somebody cuts your fingers and you gotta drive to the hospital, wrong, you can't. So, you gotta be responsible with that. You can't, when you're a parent, you're not allowed to get, you're not allowed to get stupid drunk unless you have a babysitter. So you can't be having like a nightcap and then get it, you know, messed up. So uh, just watch yourself. That's public service now. Because <laughs> the night that you think everything's gonna be cool, that's when everybody goes crazy and then somebody cuts an artery or whatever and you get blood shooting all over the ceiling. I mean, I'm asking for a friend rather than. <laughs> that didn't happen to me though. That didn't happen. But you know, I don't want to be that. I always worry about that. Sometimes my wife will say, "Why don't you just have one of those coffees?" And I'll go, because tonight will be the night that, that one of them falls down the stairs and, you know, busts through the ceiling and then like a dog comes in and eats one of their legs and I go to run and then the car breaks down and we can't get to the hospital and that'll be tonight because I tried to relax. And that's why I just stay tense at all times. I swear, it was like right before I walked out of the napkin can, I was trying to clean up. I was trying to clean up the backstage so that nobody had to clean up after me, you know, because I was trying to leave the space a little bit better than it was before I got there. And all I get for it, I get spilled on like a damn fool. So next time, I'm not cleaning up nothing. I'm just kidding, I'm still cleaning up. I don't, I wouldn't, I'm, I don't know what I would do if I ever got famous. I'm not, I'm not sure what to, like, I, sometimes I think about that, like, what do real famous people do? And I ask them. I asked them, like, why do you feel to be, and they always got some kind of famous answer. Like, they're like, well, you know, I read my songs from the heart, and they come down from the, you know, the star dust, and like, I got, you know, I do yoga seven times a week, and you gotta eat nothing but kale. And then, you know, that's not true yet. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's what you do, huh? And I'm like, what? so how do you go to the supermarket? They're like, well, you know, I don't want a supermarket, so they go to the supermarket for me. Oh, right. That's where I get unplugged. <laughs> so, I'm not cut out for that kind of stuff because I still spill stuff on myself. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine like hanging out with Adele and her spilling something on herself. <laughs> what would happen? Would she be cool about it? I'm not sure. Would she not be cool? That'd be even better. <laughs> <laughs> Just to watch later. Like I like the, I like watching meltdowns. Meltdowns are my favorite. Like Elton John had meltdowns on Google. On YouTube, Google that later. Elton John meltdown on stage with Billy Joel. Ooh, it's a fix. I never had one of those fits. I'm not cut out for that kind of thing. I don't know why. I always, you know why? Because I'll tell you why. I do know why. Because I feel that this is a delicate thing that I do, and that it could be taken away like that, and that somebody else could swoop in, and that you guys could all decide like, oh, done with that guy. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's why you don't act the fool, because what happens? Like, sometimes people get pissed at you, and then they just go find some other idiot that sings and plays guitar. Anybody can do that. You know? There's tons of people now. Check out the Grammys. Love them. <laughs> I will say that this year, I think a lot of people that should have got Grammys finally got some, which is good. That's great. Except for me. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank the Academy for this song. <laughs> I got half a mind to let it all burn up in this spot. 
I've been burning through my veins since I first learned to cry. I watch this whole night come down and never miss her again. Never felt right, never fit in. Walking in my own skin. Walking in my own skin. I got scars like the number of the stars. My head's full of vipers. Got the dust of the desert in my bones. Coming through the amplifiers In the minor chord Four and the fourth and the fifth It's a broken hallelujah And I'm begging my best I wash my hands like a man With the blood on his teeth Over and over without relief I got nothing for you darling But a story to tell About the rain on the pavement And the sound that she felt Watch this whole night come down and never Never felt right, never fit in Walking in my own man's shoes with my scientist heart Got a fever and a beaker and a shot in the dark Need a Cadillac ride or a soft summer night Say breath my soul, senorita Walking in my own man's shoes with my scientist heart Got a fever and a beaker and a shot in the dark Need a Cadillac ride or a soft summer Say your prayers, send your feet up Cause I've been dying out here in the cold and the snow Got a picture of your mama to remind me of home On the hood of your dodge on a Saturday night Say a prayer for my soul, send your feet up Walking in my own